Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we are here in Turkey um, at a place where Ortogul Ghazi, his grave is. Um, looking at the place here, it is something that it makes us ponder, makes us think about that how these people uh, spent their time and efforts and spent their life uh, establishing the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in places like this. Coming to the grave or the tomb of Ortogul Ghazi, Rahimahullah. The point of all of this is uh, to recite Surah Fatiha for him, to make dua for him, and also to get this um, motivation and to learn that how we can uh, make effort for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how these people sacrificed their lives and gave it their very best to establish the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to all places around the world. As you can see, uh, there is uh, dirt from the different countries that the Khilafah was on um, and also they've got these windows and something ajeeb is here is that in 1921 that when the Greeks took over this place uh, they came to the grave or the tomb of Ortogul Ghazi and they shot through the windows as well um, which I'll show you later on in the windows as well However, it is something that us Muslims need to think about is that how much time and dedication have we spent for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what are we doing to the best of our capabilities and to the best of our abilities, what are we doing uh, to learn from these great people. Yes, uh, it is really easy to watch the, sh uh, the TV series or watch about this, uh, sure that's really easy to see. But to actually come here and see the environment, that on what kind of environment that they worked in, what kind of um, things that they used to use, uh, this is something phenomenal that you can only get grasp the full understanding of it when you actually come and visit these uh, beautiful places and to learn from them, take ibra from them. Uh, this is something that is crucial for all us Muslims, especially our youth, um, when we look at how he made effort. So our youth, we are spending our time, we are spending our health, our wealth, we are spending our abilities on things which are, which serve no purpose for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, these people gave it their all and for this, this is something that we should all learn and uh, seek some admonition from them and to say that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can accept me that I can stand up on the Day of Judgment and be proud of something that I have accomplished. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the tawfiq to act upon, to learn from our staff, to learn from them and to make some kind of effort to show or to present something to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Day of Judgment that Ya Allah, this is what I have brought, this is what I have brought in front of you, so accept it. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to do so. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.